Hey everyone, it's Richard Solomon and really glad you could join me again for another Millionaire Mindset. And uh, I wanted to quickly remind you to subscribe and to like and also to hit that notification bell so you will know when new content is uploaded. All right, so today I wanted to talk about uh, some of the challenges and obstacles that we face. I think in a previous video, not I think, I know, in a previous video I spoke about uh, some of the systemic challenges and in that video I mentioned two other categories of challenges uh, one is the self challenges those that are internal to us and then two uh, the challenges that come from others so I want to sp speak about that one this morning the challenges that come from others I'm in civvies today as it were and um, I didn't say it let me say it good morning good evening good night uh, depending on where you're viewing this and when you're viewing this. So some of the challenges that come from others. Now, humans, uh, and I said this in a previous video, we want to be safe and we want to keep the people that are close to us safe. Usually when other people present challenges, and challenges here are specific to, uh, they're, they're going to discourage you. They're going to say entrepreneurship, you want to become a consultant, um, you want to be a freelancer. You want to run your own business, really? Um, you want to be self-employed? That's dangerous. Uh, they may not use the word dangerous, but they're going to say it is unstable. Uh, you can fail. They'll tell you maybe 60, 70 percent of all small businesses fail in the first uh, couple of years, which is, I think, a correct statistic. And that really depends on where you look and which industries you look. But generally it is a pretty accurate statistic and it can be a frightening statistic uh, they will tell you that you have a safe job you have a good job you went to school you have good education and we can go on and on you're a manager in a company after all you've been promoted the people like you there you've done very well for yourself why would you want to get out and do something different my question is why not one of the things you don't want and i'll come back to the discourage us in a moment but one of the things you don't want is to sort of get down in life somewhere sit back and wonder what if you know what if I'd done that what would what would my life have been like what, what would have that journey have been how would I have uh, had that experience what would it have been like for me but they will discourage you they will discourage you because generally people will say that it's it's risky and they want to help keep you safe that's why people discourage you and that's one reason now, there's the other reason and some people really do not want to see you prosper past where they are succeed beyond where they are and that's true some people they would rather not see you succeed beyond where they are you know they 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 and you are in sort of in the same bracket same position and that's the way they like it um sometimes it's a reflection of how they feel about themselves and and their own limitations or the limitations that they, they've placed upon themselves so those are two reasons why people will discourage you. They themselves become obstacles to your journey. You have got to wonder and you have got to answer the question, is that it for you? See, we all have to determine our own lives. We all have to decide what success looks like. We all have to decide what's our journey going to be like. And that decision, that, uh, that focus, that self-determination is an inalienable right as an adult human said differently you have the right to determine what your life will be like and if you make you you allow others to make that decision for you then in truth they are controlling you and i don't mean to jerk on your emotional strings when i say that but if you think about it if i allow others to decide for me then, as far as that decision is concerned, they are in control. Now, does that mean you should not listen to others? Absolutely, you should listen to people. You, you know, sometimes people will give you some information or feedback or give you their thoughts or their best thinking. And I like to say feedback is a gift. You know, when you get a gift, what do you say? Thank you. No, not all gifts you get, you use. But you do say thank you. You do consider what you're given. You do consider that maybe they have your best interest at heart. But I'll tell you what. Are you going to take advice from people who have not walked the journey that you want to walk? See? That's critical. 
these people may become obstacles and challenges, unwittingly so, because they want to keep you safe, because they don't want to see you go beyond where they are. Because, I dare say, sometimes misery loves company. But are you going to take advice from someone who has not walked that journey? Do you take medical advice from a plumber? Do you take legal advice from your carpenter? What about to fix your car? Do you go to your dentist? No. My position on that is find people who have walked that journey and listen to them. After all, they have walked the journey. My mentor, Tony Watkins, told me many, many years ago, he said, the world will test you. The universe will test your resolve, your commitment. Do you really want this? You know, do you really want this? Sure, you're going to have challenges. Sure, you're going to have lean times, as people will tell you. Of course you will. I mean, every business does. Every entrepreneur does. Every small business. Uh, even large businesses. <laughs> I met with a, a prospective client a couple days ago. Relatively small company. Very nimble. Uh, they, they're not a startup. But, but they're, they're small. Uh, relatively small. And they are uh, very flexible as an organization. And... Uh, I met with four of the directors, and my question, one of my questions to them, were what ke is what keeps you up at night? And um, there were th three men, one woman, in the room as as the, the four directors, and each of the men <laughs> said, "Well, nothing really keeps me up at night. I'm 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 asleep in two minutes." I didn't mean it literally, and I don't think they answered literally, you know. And when I when I came to the woman um, who who happened to be the finance director, she said. Uh, the, the cash flow keeps me up at night. So sometimes you're going to have cash flow challenges. You know, sometimes you're going to have challenges. But does that mean you should not go down that road? Does that mean you should not? I shouldn't. I can't tell you that you should or shouldn't. I can't tell you about you, what you should do. I can tell you about me. The fact that there are challenges and challenges exist on the journey of entrepreneurship, of consulting, of freelancing is not a good enough reason, in my opinion, for me to not take on the journey, not take on the challenge. Don't allow people, others, to become obstacles to your dreams, your vision, and your success. This is Richard Solomon. Good to chat with you today, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.